Welcome back to Chicago Playwrights, produced by the Clyde Fitch Report in association with Chicago Dramatists. We're directed by Beck Willett, and I'm Sean Douglas, and today our guest is Aline Lathrop. Hi. Aline Lathrop is a resident playwright here at Chicago Dramatists, where she previously produced her plays Bordello, which was a nominee for the Susan Smith Blackburn Prize, and Feast. Recent projects include developing Anne Eat It Too with Polarity Theater Ensemble, and developing Trade Show at Route 66. Her current play, Merchild, runs at 16th Street Theater, where it is Jeff recommended. So I'll begin with our usual question. What is this play about, and why did you choose to write about it? Well, Merchild is about uh, an eight-year-old transgender child who dreams of being a mermaid. It was something that I discovered early in my research, that a lot of trans kids are drawn to mermaids, and I think one of the reasons, I think there are two, probably two reasons. One reason is that when you look at a mermaid, you don't see any genitalia. So that is sort of just takes it out, out of the equation. That's one possibility. Um, but I think that it has to do possibly with, it certainly does in my play, have to do with the idea of transformation. So tell us about Adam, who's the, the transgender child in this play. What is, what is she dealing with? Well, she's always identified as a girl. Never occurred to her she was a boy and um, she lives in a very supportive liberal family but she's kind of ignored um, cues and information that she's received and created um, narratives in her mind like for instance she is just quietly patiently waiting for her penis to fall off because she knows you know what girls have and what boys have but she assumes that there must be some kind of um, transformation in her near future. And she lives most, most authentically um, in her play and fantasy life, where we get to see her playing, um, her imagining a life with the Prince Eric, who is, who is um, conceived from her boyfriend, her sister's boyfriend, who's yes. named Eric. So how, how do you perform gender in this play? Because there's obviously the, the connection mm -hmm. between performance mm -hmm. in terms of theatrical performance mm -hmm. and then just the everyday gender performance that we all do. Right. So how do you reconcile those? Yeah, so I mean, a question of course is how much is gender intrinsic and how much is it performed? Mm -hmm. And I, I mean, I think that it is both of those things. Um, so I, I was thinking about that with this play, that Adam is a girl. So I wanted, although everyone thinks that she's a boy, so I wanted her to be played by a girl. That was always clear. Um, but that became, that has become really interesting in, as it has come to life. So there's that, that Adam is a girl, so she's played by a girl. Um, but then I have another role that is all the people in the family's life who are telling them how Adam should present. Like, there's a teacher, a psychiatrist, a waitress, um, uh, an intern at the LGBTQ Resource Center, um, lots of different roles of um, different genders and um, sexual orientations that are all played by one actor because I wanted with that role to explore, on the other hand, not how gender is intrinsic, but how it's performed. And I thought that the people who are telling Adam and his family how he should be performing his gender, um, that it would be effective to have that. And one of the reasons that I wrote this play, which is um, a broader topic than having a trans child, 
has to do with having a child that is not like you in some way that you didn't expect, in some way that you find frightening. Um, what I, well, I think what the reason that I, that I um, became so interested in this topic is one of the things that I've learned as a mother is that the children that we have are just the children that we have and we can't change them. Those things that are intrinsic, we can't change and it's, it's going to hurt if we try to. So um, I, wanted I wanted people to think about um, what the price of living an inauthentic life is and what the price of trying to force your child into an inauthentic life might be. So who are the other characters in this play? Adam's parents, Adam's sister, and his, her boyfriend. Um, so Adam's parents, Adam's mother is a physicist turned dean at a major university on the north side um, along the lake. And um, um, Clay, her husband, is a novelist who is not successful and he has an adjunct job at the university. So, um, you know, they both, it's a very modern liberal family, a couple who both want to pursue their dreams where the woman has a much more powerful position in society um, than the man. Um, and, uh, and gender equality is really important for them. Um, and they're quite delighted when they think that Adam is gay. Um, but when they find out that he's trans, it's, um, it's just too scary for them. And they find themselves making choices that I don't think they would have imagined making because they're terrified when they think about the statistics for um, suicide and also um, hate crimes. That I'm, I have two little girls, and I know that as parents, we can become crazy. Um, we'll do anything to protect our children. We want. We want their happy. We think we want their happiness more than anything until um, we encounter a threat of physical danger. And at that point, we want them alive more than we want them to be happy. Um, okay. But I think that we have to accept our children for who they are and support them in what they feel is intrinsic to who they are. Mm -hmm, definitely. Do you have any other upcoming projects you want to promote? Anything else in the works? I have a new play in development. Um, I hope to be able to announce productions of other plays, but I can't do that now. Um, my new play, um, The Hero's Wife, is about a just-retired Navy SEAL and his wife in the months following that retirement. Um, and I'm developing it at 16th Street Theater a bit, and then... Um, at Chicago Dramatists. Well, thank you for being our guest today. This has been Chicago Playwrights. Thank you for joining us. Mm -hmm.